Hello! In this video I will replace electronic speed controller on my Hotbodies VE8 buggy. I got this buggy for bashing it to limits, so I already broke some ESC. But if I tell you I broke the T-bone racing front bumper with lifetime warranty, I probably tell you everything. Here I got some broken ESCs. I use a lot of that Hobbywing 150 amp ESC. But they are really big and got weak plastic case, so pretty soon after soft crash it broke and split the circuit. Always on same places. I fixed few of them, but for some there was no hope. Then I got here some broken Hobby King 150 MPSC. With that 120 SC I'm using on Traxxas Summit, because it's waterproof and worked well till now. Today I installed this Truckstar 150A ESC which looked the same as Toro 150A I used last time on my buggy. I also got some programming card. Really hate that the producer make different programming card for every ESC they make. No really, for every single type of ESC they make another programming card. So, here I got damaged Toro TC150 ESC with his programming card on my buggy. And here I got new Trackstar 150 amp Gen 2 ESC which look totally the same as Toro. Of course I buy another programming card, even if it's look just like Toro's one, but I smell something here while ordering. Ok, remove the broken Toro ESC now. Unscrew the button, unplug the wires and unplug the cable from receiver. Then unscrew the ESC table from buggy chassis. When it's out I can unplug the motor sensor cable. Here I got two different ESC which look pretty the same, few differences on housing and that's it. I bought this Toro TC150 few years ago and no one worked that much time on my buggy like that Toro, so I want to buy the same and then find the track star for lower price. Toro cost about 130 euro if you bought in Europe, for about 9 dollars from China plus taxes. Truckstar cost about $90 in Hobby King Europe or House, but I found it in action, so pay $60 for it, which is great price. I opened boot housing to see if there any difference, except the dirty old one. I really like that type of controller, because you can split the circuit board, so cleaning and maintenance, maybe changing some elements, is much easier. Also, they got a push button for turn on and off the controller, so there is much less option to broke the switch. Here I got bottom circuit board from boot controllers. Look like it's going for totally same speed controller, even some numbers are the same. I got lot of compared photos, but I was too fast with formatting SD card so all I got now is video. But I think that the point can be seen. There is some elements a bit different, but I'm pretty sure that the circuit board come from the same factory. Maybe Toro got a bit higher quality of components, I don't know. You can see there that also top board is the same. Same letters, same font, and even the manual soldering seem the same. Yep, same capacitor. But we can see here that the MOSFET is a bit different type. Maybe Truckstar used some cheaper one. But I definitely can't change only one board if something go wrong. Hey, I got the spare parts now. Okay, now I solder the wires and connectors to new controller. For that I will need the wires if the one come with will be too short. 4mm banana connectors, I use only that because I got best experience with it. Then I need clippers, knife, soldering wire, maybe some flux, shrink tube and of course soldering iron. Please stay away from some soldering station for that kind of job. It can be done with it, I know. But for that kind of soldering you don't need a precise soldering iron. You only need power, lot of power, to solder fast and strong. I got one 200 watts, but this time I use this 100 watts. With weak soldering you must heat many times to solder it. That means that you heat up a whole circuit board instead just connectors and cables. I take off the upper part of housing to not deform it while soldering, because connectors is so close to housing. I will reuse all the battery cables because they got almost new connectors on it, so I'll solder it from old controller. Apply a bit new soldering wire with flux, add it also on connectors and then solder wire to its place. Cut 3 motor cables to proper length and cut about 4mm insulation from its end. I got clippers for pulling off insulation, but the silicon insulation is pretty thick, so I got better result with a knife.
I turn that tiny wires a bit so easy put cables into connector hole and then solder it using soldering wire with flux so I don't need the extra flux there the same process make also on other side of cables but on that side I cut off only 3mm insulation because it's enough for 4mm connectors now add solder to controller connectors add the solder slowly so it can flow into the bottom of connector otherwise an air bubble will be created at the bottom of connector and that's not good Ok, now simply reheat the connectors and solder wires into I add a bit of solder on tip for better heat transfer If necessary add a bit more solder into But not too much, if you put too much it flow down to the controller circuit Which can damage the controller So better to use less solder than too much You can add more anytime And then slowly push wire into connectors So at least a few centimeters of wire become very hot Then you can be sure that there is no cold solder you can see there how easy it is to work with powerful soldering iron. Now I can put the cover back on. On the same way solder also connectors. There's many gadget for hold the connectors while soldering, but I use this Prox and mini vise for that job and work just great. Then cut the shrink tube and insulate the cable connectors. I also put them on controller connectors. I really hate if the shrink tube not cut at right integral and all the same length. So I start thinking to make some tool to cut the shrink tube. The white one tried to shot closer and then got fired too much away, that's why I become black. I know it's better to hit with hot gun, but as I say, improvising is faster. Sometimes. Now I connect boot programming card and set the new controller to same settings as old one, because it's worked fine with it. I really like extra programming slots so you don't need to disconnect from receiver every time you want to program. But before that I try to change programming card to see the result. Yeah, I think so. Message is connecting fail and the same message on other card. Programming card is pretty the same, boot got many functions like battery checker, PPM monitor, servo tester and so on. But the Toro got one more function, it got motor sensor connector where you can plug the motor sensor cable and see the precise motor RPM. I just go to entire menu and set all the settings on new controller. Process is really fast with two same card because buttons are in same places and also the menu is totally the same. Now all I must do yet is mount controller into buggy. I paste it on table with double sided tape and secure it with cable ties. Then attach the carbon table into buggy with screws and connect the controller to receiver, sensor cable and main cables for motor. Then I want to have really good connection so I insert a piece of silicon cable insulation into male connector. So there is a bit more force to female connector which mean better connection. Attach also the on off button and it's ready to test. Turn on the transmitter, connect the battery and here we go. All works. I don't even need to calibrate it with my transmitter. But if you need to calibrate it there will be no problem because there come very nice manual with. Pretty awesome manual for Chinese product. I also get that USB link for programming Toro ESC with PC. But I don't even try to program Trackstar, it probably don't work. But there you got tons of settings on PC, like set the curves of acceleration and braking. Really lot of function, but I don't need them for hard bash, I just need a full throttle. I change also the rear bumper and fix a few other things. The buggy is now ready for new season, to broke something else. Thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe if you like and see you next time.